In today's video, I wanted to talk about the preset keys on the Hammond organ and how they work because I feel that a lot of people don't quite understand what the sounds are supposed to be and also just simply how they work inside and the way you can check to make sure that your preset keys are still true to the original Hammond factory settings. It's a very easy way to check and uh, it is possible that the keys can deviate because in the back of the organ you can actually change the way the presets sound. Another thing I wanted to do at the end of today's video is kind of like a trivia question about a song that I'm going to be playing for you today. Um, basically, the history behind this song is it was written by a um, not so well-known composer, but then it was reharmonized by a very famous composer. And I would love to see your guys' guesses on who the composers were, what era the song was written, and all kinds of cool things like that. You guys have been very great about that in the past, and very accurate about um, doing these kind of things in the past. So I'd love to take this up to another level and play an organ song for you guys and have you guess it. So even if you don't know what the composer is and you've never heard the song in your life, I would still love to hear your guesses. And maybe you can try to listen to the song and try to analyze for um, you know various techniques that are used and stuff like that to maybe give you an idea of when this, this piece could have been written. But first, let's come over here and do a close-up of the preset keys and let me talk about how they work. So here we are looking at the, um, the bass end of the Hammond organ and uh, beyond the lowest bass note we have a series of preset keys. Now the way these work is basically the top two control the drawbars. So this um, key controls this set of drawbars, this key controls this set of drawbars, but below that from this A down to this D flat there are a number of preset settings. And so if you push this and you play some notes and you play this one and hit some notes, you'll hear that they all sound different. And the idea behind these presets is they're made to sound like various functionalities of a real pipe organ, because that's what the Hammond organ was originally meant to be. It was meant to be a cheaper substitute for a pipe organ that was more compact and easier to move around and stuff like that. So all of these different sounds have different... Um, all these different keys have different sounds, but what's interesting is in the back of the organ, you can actually change them. And so sometimes you might push this note down and it might have a different sound than, was, than what was originally intended. And so today I wanted to talk about the way that you can um, verify that the notes are in the that the notes have the proper sound without going in the back and looking at the wiring. So there's a very easy way to check this. So let's pretend that I wanted to uh, check this this key because this is actually one I'm going to be using in the song that I play in just a few minutes. So what I would do is I would look up the original factory setting for this key and there's a couple different ways you can do that. I originally found a chart in a book called Hammond Organ Complete but I found an identical chart online when I simply searched up Hammond Organ preset keys and I'll put a link to the exact website that I use in the description below because if you have a Hammond organ and you want to see if your preset keys are original you can just look that up and basically on the chart it has a series of nine numbers that would go maybe say uh, three two seven seven four five two 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 that's the exact setting that I have here and that is what this note is. And the way those numbers work is each number refers to the draw bar. That's why there's nine of them, because we have nine draw bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then each number refers to the setting. So three means you pull the draw bar out to the third little number here. Uh, five would mean you pull the draw bar out to the fifth number, and then each number would be in order. So like the first one to the left would be this draw bar, the one next to the left would be that one, and so on and so forth. The one all the way over to the right would be this last draw bar here. So then what you would do is you would figure out what number setting your preset is set to. Then you would go to, um, I'm used the B-flat preset here, and then you would put that exact uh, number setting into this uh, B flat preset. So if this um, key again was 32774522, you'd put those exact numbers in this and then you would compare them. Now there's a couple different ways you can compare them. You can simply push the two, but what I like to do is hold the cancel key down and then when you let go of one, it will automatically come back up and you can just simply go right back and forth between the two like normal notes. So when I hold down a note, that is the original preset, and then if I go to this one, there's no sound change whatsoever. Which means that this um, key is, this preset is still original to its factory setting. Now, if it was different, let's pretend that I tweaked this a little bit, you would hear a sound difference like this. 
as you can hear. So if you have put the drawbar to the original factory setting and then you compare between the original preset and the uh, the drawbar setting that you've programmed to be like the original preset and you're, you're hearing a difference, first you'd probably want to check your drawbar setting to make sure everything's good and then you'd probably want to listen for what is different about this preset so that then you could go back and in the back and change it if you wanted to or you could simply leave it the way it was. For example here, you can hear that there's more high frequencies in this note. Of course you'd know that because you saw me move the drawbar out so then you'd want to move back the highest drawbar and now they're exactly the same and that's how you do it. It's a very very simple way and once again the charts are available online and I'll put a link to the website that I found that chart on in the uh, description below. Now one thing I wanted to mention on the upper manual, the B preset you can have percussion sounds which are over to the right so when you're, if you decide to use the B preset to check your, um, to compare between your original preset and your new um, custom one, you'd want to, to make sure percussion is off because that can alter the sound of it. So hopefully you uh, found that informative and um, helpful. It's just something that I just thought I'd talk about because I haven't really seen any other people talk about that online and I just thought I'd mention it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So here we are in the back of the Hammond organ, and as you can see, this big cluster of wires here is actually for the presets. Now up here at the top, it says lower manual and upper manual, and then also a row of letters. We have A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F, E, D sharp, D, and C sharp. And the way this works is it's actually rather interesting. There are a bunch of different wire colors corresponding to each um, harmonic draw bar and the row of bars is the volume level. So the very bottom bar, and as you can see, there's holes in each bar, and the very bottom hole is the draw bar being at zero, pushed all the way in, and the hole all the way at the top is equivalent to the bar being, I mean, the draw bar being pushed all the way out to eight. And so that's why there's eight different bars here, and then there's nine different holes in them for the each individual preset key. And the way this works is there's actually what's pretty cool is there's a little diagram on the inside talking about how this works. So if you take a look at that here, it tells you all about how you are supposed to move things and it tells you all about the different wire colors. It says the sub fundamental is the brown wire, the sub third is the red wire, the fundamental is the orange wire, and then there's also a little uh, diagram there talking about how you'd want to um, put in a certain combination of draw bars into a certain key and it tells you all about how to do it and it's a really well written thing. Now if you wanted to find out more information about it you could probably look up changing Hammond organ preset keys online and you'd be able to find out a lot of information, read forum threads and all kinds of things like that. But this chart is actually pretty comprehensive and if you were to read it and study it just a little bit you'd really be able to understand how the presets work. I just thought I'd show you the inside of it because it's really fascinating, all the wires and all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes of the Hammond organ. And what's kind of cool is if you look back here, you can actually see the draw bars themselves, the behind parts of them, and then this here would be to change the actual presets. So hopefully you found the, uh, the information here about the preset keys and going in the back and looking at how it works informative and helpful and even if you, if you don't have a Hammond organ and you're not interested in changing your preset keys, hopefully you just at least found it interesting the way it works back there and also the way the, uh, the preset keys are set up. It's pretty cool. So now let's get into the trivia song. Um, once again, like I said, the piece was written by a rather unknown composer, but then was reharmonized by a very well-known composer. And let me know what you think of the song down in the comment section down below. Uh, what do you think it sounds like? Who do you think it sounds like? You know, does the style of music remind you of any particular composer or era of music? I'd love to hear your thoughts on the piece. And um, anyway, let's get started. Hopefully you enjoy the music.
music. It's a really cool song and I really like the way it sounds. And so once again, give your ideas and thoughts about that piece of music. When do you think it was written? Who do you think it was written by? And even if you have no idea, just throw out your wildest guess. And uh, I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts and opinions on that song. So hopefully you've enjoyed the piece of music and also the information about the preset keys. Hopefully you found it all interesting and informative. And if you want to, you can go check out my channel. I've got lots of videos about this exact Hammond organ, how it works, the Leslie speaker over there, which is really, really cool. And I also have lots of videos on my channel about pianos and other instruments as well. So if you want, you can go check all that stuff out. And if you want to subscribe, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.